Oh boy, you guys, it's gonna be a good one. The reason I'm excited is because I am all about nostalgia for the 80s and the 90s. And I was 10 years old, going on 11, whenever 1990 came around. And then by the time that 2000 hit, I was 20. So I, I really, experienced everything in the 90s. So City Color Cosmetics was kind enough to send me their oh, whatever forever palette. So let's take a look at it real quick. And boom, we got a nice, fun, bright, colorful, right up my alley kind of palette as far as the color story goes. And I'm really excited to use it. They, they sent, they were generous enough to, to not only send this, but they sent a glitter palette called Dazed. And oh my goodness, I had a lot of glitter on me doing those swatches, but that was fun. It was so much fun. So this is beautiful. I love it. And then it comes with a roller gloss. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to get this to work for me. The ball will move, but the gloss is not dispensing, unfortunately. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. But if you are new here, my name is Jane and I'm a fine artist and I do drawings, I do paintings, and I love makeup so much. So, especially eyeshadows and especially colorful eyeshadows. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on and I will see you when I upload. Let's go ahead and roll this 80s intro. Don't hold it against me that it's not 90s, but let's just go ahead and bring it on in. Come on! <laughs> So quick little bit of nostalgia here before we get started on my, on my eyeshadow. So <laughs> you guys, look, I've got two copies of Sassy Magazine. Now, for those of you who don't know, Sassy Magazine was a very important magazine for young women. It was There was no other magazine that was geared towards young adults like it at the time. And so I really loved it. It was just very blunt and very clever. Look at this. Noxzema. I can smell this ad. Oh, <laughs> it's amazing. I love it so much. I mean, this this model right here, uh, they did a whole photo shoot that was based off of Axl Rose and his style. Oh boy. Columbia House. Do we, do we remember this? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that cool? And it's all based on Axl Rose and his style. <laughs> I mean, it just... What a wonderful time to be alive. <laughs> okay, so I am priming my eyes with this Give Me Glow Primer. It is uh, white, it's called Blank Canvas, and it's a creamier type of primer. And I think this is the, the way to go with this palette. Um, when I was playing around with it last night, I could tell that it just, it needed, it needed to be packed on. I'm gonna start, first of all, I'm gonna be doing two looks one on each eye. And I'm going to start off with a blending brush. I know I just said I'm gonna be using smaller brushes, but I'm gonna try something because what I ran into was that this particular shade, 90s, it, you know, whenever I pack it on, whenever it would blend out, it was really hard to blend out. So I'm gonna start with a fluffier brush first, and then I'm going to go in and use a packing brush. So let's do it. See how it is? It's very, very light when used with a blending brush. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I was looking up some 90s facts and and basically, um, do you guys remember pagers? Well, here's the thing. 600 million people had pagers. 60, or I'm sorry, 61 mil million. That's still a lot of people. I mean, I had a, I had a pager and I accidentally, I'll just, it ended up in the toilet. <laughs> um, long story. But um, let's see here, for this eye, see I was able to build that up pretty nice. Um, for this eye, I'm going to, for this eye, I'm gonna start off with this hot pink shade called Baby Doll. I'm gonna take a, a Blend Bunny, I should know these by now, I use these all the time. A Blend Bunny 5. So yeah, 1995, no, it was 1997, it was later than that. I had gotten into a car accident whenever I was 16, and so my parents kind of freaked out because they didn't know. They were they had gone to dinner, and so that's whenever they bought me a pager. Like, if you had a pager, you were cool. At least, except for me, I wasn't cool. But I'm gonna put that right there, and build that up. It's building up nice. And maybe this is the approach I should have used last night. Okay, I'm taking a Blim Bunny 4, and we're gonna go into... Um, 
Da Bomb. <laughs> Which makes me think of Crisscross. Do you guys remember Crisscross? Whenever it was cool to wear your pants backwards. <laughs> like, ooh, we got rebellious. That was a one hit wonder, that's for sure. There was a lot of one hit wonders in the early 90s, like Vanilla Ice and Whoop There It Is. A lot of party songs. A lot of, um, I'm going to blend this in. It's blending really nicely. I mean, it's not, I say it's blending nicely. It, it is blending fine. It's just fine. You know? <laughs> also, fun fact a gallon of gas. In the 90s was, get this, a dollar twenty-two. A dollar twenty-two. And minimum wage was four twenty-five. So I'm going to take this orange shade called Party Line, and then I'm gonna go into Dial Up. Oh boy, I remember that. And we're gonna take these two and I'm gonna put Party Line right here and then Dial Up through here. I remember dial up and I can remember waiting on America online. <laughs> I can remember waiting, just waiting to get on. And sometimes on a Friday night, it would take an hour, half hour or something like that. Okay, taking the B4 and using that dial up shade. Oh, that's pretty. These are actually, you know, the mats. The mats are pretty nice. I'm going to go down and bring this down in here because I can. So for the outer corner of this eye, I'm going to use, I'm going to layer 90s in VHS. So it'll be more like a cooler toned purple. I think what I'm going to do is put VHS on first and then put the 90s over it. And do you remember having to rewind your tapes before returning them on VHS whenever you rented them? I mean, probably if I have grandchildren, they're not going to understand. They're, they'll probably think it's just bizarre that we used to have to go to a store and rent things. But um, I'm going to go into Scrunchy. This is a beautiful shade, by the way. It is so pretty. It's like this bright cherry red. I'm going to put it in the crease, but I don't want to lose party line at the same time. I'm just going to put it right up to the orange shade. I got to say, even though some of the mattes aren't really like super pigmented right off the bat, you can definitely build upon them, which I really enjoy. Okay. So I'm going to take this angled brush and I'm going to go into supermodel. So, oops, wrong one. No, I'm, never mind. <laughs> I'm having trouble here, folks. <laughs> and I'm just going to put that right there and I'm going to layer, I'm going to layer scrunchy on top of it. I don't want to lose baby doll. So I'll probably pack on a little bit more after I get done blending this. I know Saturday Night Live is still a thing, but Saturday Night Live in the 90s was really something special. We had Wayne's World. You had the church lady. <laughs> Lynn, that special. Also, let's take a moment to remember Tootses, the cat who could drive a car, just not very well. Pack on baby doll a little bit more so I don't lose it. Okay, so this is where the palette falls a little short is in the shimmers because it's not that they're bad but they're kind of dated if you know what i'm saying um which is ironic because this is a 90s palette now i don't want to sound ungrateful for them sending me this it was wonderful of them to send me this but i feel like the shimmers could be better and they could be more dimensional and light reflective but what we'll do is i'll pack them on and spray the brush like i typically do with my shimmers and they'll make more of an impact, but you'll see what I mean. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of this matte down next to the shade here, and then I'm going to try to attempt to get this to show up. I tried it last night and it 
was, I don't know, it, it just didn't have the impact that I was hoping for. But maybe if I layer one of these green shades with it, it'll show up more. If not, then we can always put Supermodel on top. So this is a little bit of that crib shade and I'm going to put 90s right next to it so it has something to blend with with the purple. And I'm going to go into duh, I think, and then layer it with this. I said I was going to do it with this, but I don't think I'm going to do it with that one because this one is as close to, duh is as close to the actual shimmer as you can get. You could make a really beautiful matte look with this palette. So speaking of Saturday Night Live, does anyone remember their Crystal Gravy ad? <laughs> because it was a take on Crystal Pepsi, which was disgusting. And I remember tasting Crystal Pepsi and thinking, what is this? <laughs> like, what, what is going on? <laughs> and it was supposed to be just like regular Pepsi, but it didn't taste like regular, regular Pepsi. It, it tasted weird, right? Which, rest in peace, Phil Hartman, I still love the colon blow ad that they did. Yeah, that looks better. I like that. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to use, I think, I'm going to put a little bit of the bomb, like, right next to this shade here that we created and bling next to it so that it has kind of a nice transition. I'm just going to use that same angle brush. Oops. I think this is still damp. Now this one has a little bit of like a blue dual chrome to it, almost. Not quite. Well, that's not as smooth of a transition as I thought. If it's good enough for you guys, it's good enough for me. So for the lower lash line on this one, I want to use that supermodel shade again because it's so beautiful and vibrant. So I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a three, an O3 from Refer, and I'm going to spray it. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Like I want this all over my lid. So for this side, I'm going to just put a little bit of VHS to match up with this shade that we created. And then next to it, I'm going to go and put whatever. I'm going to use that same refer three and just, just a little bit. Okay, let's talk celebrity crushes. Everybody was like in love with Brad Pitt <laughs> and Johnny Depp. Justice for Johnny Depp, by the way. So this is the whatever shade, which is that hot pink shimmer. Yeah. So for me personally, I, whenever I was 12, 11, 11, I had a big old crush on Keanu Reeves, which later turned into a crush on Eddie Furlong from Terminator 2, which as I became a teenager, that crush, I'm just going to, putting the excess up here. That crush developed into a crush for Eddie Vedder and eventually Trent Reznor from Nine Shells. <laughs> Go into Superfly and use that on the remaining portion right here. And then we'll get into inner quarter highlights. And I used to have a subscription to Bop Magazine and the Big Bopper Magazine, whatever, I was about 11, which was in the early 90s. And so it was a good time. I think the perfect song that encapsulates my high school experience is Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. That was such a cool video too. Do you see what I mean? Like there's a little bit of like, a little bit of chalkiness to these shimmers. I still really like this palette though. It's fun. It's fun to play with. Okay, so for these, like the areas that are left over, the inner corner, and kind of bring some of that color down into this area, um, I'm going to use, for this eye, I'm going to use this as if shade. I had to say it like that, of course. 
and um, I'll probably blend some of these greens into that shade. This is like a nice highlighter yellow shade. I love a good highlighter yellow. So for this side, I think I'm going to do bubblegum as the inner corner highlight. Yeah, I was kind of obsessed with Jerry Rasner. Ask any of my friends from high school. And I was like, it's not like that. That's up for debate. <laughs> I think I'm going to put a little bit of party line down there. That orange matte. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> I really, whenever I swatched this one, this one was really pretty. I really like this one. Okay, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Base Booster Glitter Primer. And I'm going to go into Cyber and Haze. So... Oh yeah, it's pretty. It laid down really nice. Well, that just took it to the next level. <laughs> I'm gonna use this shade and parallel, maybe even this. That is flamingo. Going into that orange glitter shade, it's called parallel. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna use hallucination. That shade on the purple and in the outer corners. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a unique glitter shade. I really like that. Yeah, that's a beautiful shade. Okay, guys, I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on and maybe some more glitter on the edges here, and I will be right back. Okay, everyone, this is the final look. I added some more glitter on, and I'll tell you what shades I did, or glitter shades. I, I guess, I don't know what you would call it. Um, glitter colors. <clears throat> so on this side, so I used shock. It's just ch kind of chunky, a glitter with the kind of green reflect in it. And it's kind of yellow. And then I used this one down here it is called shroom. And I used a little bit of that. So you can see that a little bit. Hmm. And on this side, I decided to use, what did I use? <laughs> I think I used that same one. I think I used shock and I used, oh, I used rabbit hole. I used rabbit hole. And um, so, and I little, a little bit of this one too, which is called cyber. So that is what I used for the glitters. And so I also put that shade bubblegum onto my brow bone and I also used it as a highlight. It actually makes a great highlight, although it's kind of covered up by the glitter. So whatever. I'm going to tell you guys about the rest of the makeup that I have on and then I will give you my final thoughts. And so, okay. So for the water lines, I used two different shades for each water line. So for this eye, I used, on the inner part, I used the LA Girl Shockwave in Screamin'. I used the Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wear Eye Pen Long Wearing Eye Pencil in Shock Therapy, which is this kind of metallic pink color. So you can definitely just check that out. And then on the side, I put on another LA Girl eyeliner. It's the Glide Eyeliner in Mermaid Blue on the outer part. And then of course my tried and true Pastel Dreams LA Girl Auto Eyeliner in Magic Mint. This thing is like a highlighter yellow. It's it's very, very pretty. And it, it actually, it really shows up very well in the waterline. So I liked, I liked those, that combo of those in my waterline. So for my blush, I'm excited about this one. For my blush, I used the matte paint eye paints. <laughs> matte, yeah, matte eye paints by About Face. I mixed these two shades together and made it my blush. And this one is, I just basically, what I did was I took, um, I took a, like my metal palette here, I cleaned it off, and I put both of these on the palette and then I took a brush and kind of mixed them together and used a, a, a bigger brush to kind of like blend them out with a blender too. So I used a little bit of a sponge blender and I used a blush brush by BH Cosmetics. This one is called, good Lord, I can never see these. This one's called La Zona Rosa. This one is called Light Transcending. So this one, they describe this one as a watermelon pink and I think that's a pretty good 
pretty good description. This one's kind of more of like a, a peachy shade, and I thought these would make a really, really nice blush. That's what I love about the, the matte eye paints is that they're very, very versatile. And for my lips, I used the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Milan. And then for my lips, I put two different sheer glosses. These are the Sheer Sticks by e.l.f. This one is called Orange. This one is called Grapefruit. So that is the rest of my makeup. Um, hi, it's me. Um, I'm, I'm popping in here because I had forgotten to list or talk to you about my mascara and my eyeliner. This is the Extreme Lasting Waterproof Mascara from Essence. It's a 16 hour wear apparently. I have never had any problems with it fading or smudging or anything. I think it's great for the price. And then we have, I got this as, what did I get? The, where did I get this? Did I buy this? Yes. I bought Sorry. It's the Benefit Their Real Mascara. It's the Magnetic Mascara. And so far, so good. It's okay. I, I like to use it as a second coat underneath my Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes. But yeah, I like it. I like it so far. So, all right. I'm going to take you back to the regularly scheduled Jane right here. So here are my thoughts on this palette. It's a good palette for $15. Okay. And you know, I didn't really have any trouble with the mattes blending or blending into each other. I do know this shade though, like if you pack it on, it's really hard to blend it out. Like it'll just kind of stay in the same place. Even with my firm blending brushes, it wouldn't move. And that was last night whenever I was kind of goofing up on some of the, the shades. And I didn't really like, it looked sloppy, like what I, it was midnight. You know, what was I thinking? I don't know. This shade did well underneath this shade. This shimmer here is just by itself, it's just kind of weak. And so, you know, some of, this is where, this is where the palette has its shortcomings is with the shimmers. Now some shimmers like this supermodel shade, gorgeous, beautiful, pigmented. This one right here, bling, is fairly good. And there are a few of them that are, are pretty good. And like bubblegum's fine, but like, this one, slime, it's weak. Um, the whatever shade, it's okay, you know. And the thing is, is that these shimmers are, when I say they're dated, you know, they just, they kind of look like something from the 90s, like I said. So I feel bad saying that, but I have to be honest in my experience with this palette. And so I feel like overall the mattes are really pretty good. And, um, but the, sh the shimmers, they need some updating, need some work. I think if City Color would update their shimmer formula and maybe bring it up to date a little bit more um, with dimension and light reflecting, I think this could be a, a fantastic palette for the price. And maybe they're just trying to save on the cost. I don't know. But I can get a $15 palette from BH Cosmetics, which is fantastic quality. So by comparison. And... Like I said, I think I'll have a lot of fun with the mattes in the future and I might go into another palette and maybe go into the BH Cosmetics palette in the LA, Lost in LA or whatever it is and use some of the shimmers there because they're fantastic or some duochromes or something would make a fantastic look. I'm not saying that the duochromes, like that the shimmers have to be duochromes. They could be kind of your standard shimmer but have just a little bit more of a kick to them. And I think it would be fantastic. I would pay $25 if they had to make the price you know, a little bit higher. I would pay $25 for something like this with some much better shimmers in it. You know what I'm saying? So I do, I, I'm not really sure where you pick up City Color Cosmetics. Like I, I know obviously you can get them online. I think probably in certain drugstores they carry it, but I haven't, I know it's not in Ulta. So if you know of where you can pick this up, leave it in the comment below. Like, is it at Rite Aid? Or, I don't know. I'm in the Midwest, so I have Walgreens here, and they don't carry it at Walgreens. So I'm just kind of curious. I lost a light. Oh, well. <laughs> so overall, I think it's good, but it's not... It, it, the shimmers are not spectacular. The mattes are pretty good. Some of them are a little stubborn on blending out, but I didn't have any problems like with them blending into each other. So that's my take on the whatever forever. Do, would I buy this? Had I not, like if I didn't, 
if I already knew what I know now, would I still buy it? Yes, because I think the mats are very pretty and they're very workable, especially for the price. So, and the Dazed palette, I think the Dazed palette is a lot of fun. I think if you're into glitter, you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. I'm not really much of a fan of the chunkier glitter, but I do really love some of these glitters up here. I do like the shot glitter actually. Um, and this shade right here, so beautiful. You saw it in the swatches. Look at how pretty that is. I mean, and if you don't use glitter on your eyelids, I get it. I get why you wouldn't do that. But I still think you could have a lot of fun, especially with the Euphoria looks that are very popular today with all the kind of glitter and the the bling and everything that goes along with those. So that is that. The roller gloss did not work out. So I think they could improve upon that. But I think the roller gloss is only like $2. So, but even for that, I, I want to be able to make it work. You know, what good is a product if it doesn't work? <laughs> but unfortunately, like I, I just, that's kind of disappointing. I really, really wish that the roller gloss would have worked out because I loved having roller gloss as a kid and as a young adult. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it entertaining, give it a thumbs up. I would love to have you subscribe and be a part of my community. And we are so wonderful and supportive of each other. So please feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. So all right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, new makeup releases will not be out this week. I will probably either tune in to making a video probably early next week, or I might just go ahead and wait until the end of next week. There's a lot of things coming out right now, but my son's graduation is tonight. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>